Carla, meet me at Pine Creek Forks. Lion B. Payroll's been robbed. Pete Bell has been kidnapped. Tell the boys to ride.
I'm, I'm here. Oh my god, give me a sec. Just, just give me a sec.
You know, work wasn't even that bad today. Work wasn't even that bad. But uh, traffic just got in the way. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, for starters, there is road work that starts um, <laughs> after I've showed up at work, but doesn't stop until after I've gotten home. So I get to work at normal hours, but on the way home, I need to do a detour that takes me an extra like 10 or 15 minutes. And on the way today, I was stuck behind a tractor for the better of like an extra 15 minutes. Be consider listen. <laughs> I get that they need the work and they're doing a good job with like keeping the roads and everything up to date, but still <laughs> it's getting a bit much, you know. Uh, hey there, Toby and hey there, Necro. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. Our Danish roads in general, by the way, good or bad? I'd say primarily they're good. Considering we're, we are a very flat country. And, uh... <laughs> considering how much... Like, there's focus on, like, how we're perceived. I would say that the roads are pretty damn good. Um... Of course, you don't want to, you know, drive around in uh, in Copenhagen, for example, because that's a nightmare. <laughs> uh. I swear. Driving in Copenhagen is horrible. It is. I, it's like, I wouldn't wish that on... On on any <laughs> on any driver of any kind. Don't don't drive in Copenhagen. Is public transportation bad in Denmark? No, actually. Our public transportation is amazing. Uh it is very user friendly, if you know the language. <laughs> Take a train instead. Well see, that's the thing, Miji. Public transportation to where I work takes extra long than by car. And on top of that, uh, there's no easy way to reach it either. There isn't. So I got a deal. Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, also, hey turtle, how you doing? Out in the middle of nowhere? Uh, I wouldn't say it's out in the middle of nowhere, but, like, it is surrounded by other businesses. Uh, my work. But... It, it is out of the way, so to say. It's not, like, close to any big cities. So it's not close to, like, a, uh... A train station or anything like that, so I would have to take, like, the bus. As well. Even if I did take a train. So, you know, I'm gonna stick to my car. <laughs> 
Pretty good. Thank you. And you? I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. <sighs> God. Also, hey, game guy. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't say hello earlier. Like your name blended in with me just a little bit there. I was like, huh? Huh? What? <laughs> I am the golden ass now. <laughs> Ironically, I don't even have the gosh dang emote. <laughs> Excuse me. For what? What is that? What is this? <laughs> I don't need to see that again. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah. By the way, chat, I haven't told this to anyone, actually. I have been invited for an interview. Um... <laughs> by, uh... By someone who's been part of the community for a little while. Uh, known as Little Asto. I did not know they streamed themselves. But yes, they have invited me to uh, an interview on Twitch. On Monday. For what? I have no idea. I guess we'll just talk about shit. And then play a game afterwards. Interview stream more. Yeah. Uh, on Little Asto's channel. I have... I have the opinion that maybe I shouldn't stream during that since, you know, it's their interview. Big leagues. <laughs> Plus, if we are to play a video game, uh, the less I have running, <laughs> the better. <laughs> because I don't know what we're going to be playing, by the way. Just send us over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that big podcast boy <laughs> i mean i did used to try i said on my own podcast but you know that fell apart quickly because i'm bad at networking <laughs> i am really bad at networking <laughs> i mean those went really well uh, uh, i don't know about that I mean, I practiced my, uh, my hosting skills for that, at least. Hey, it's not networking, but you mention all these people we don't know all the time. I do? Oh. <laughs> Who do I mention? <laughs> it's because of you I discovered Salty and Derpy, so you networked, boy. <laughs> okay, F first of all... Uh, Derby approached me more than I approached her. And Salty? Honestly, that was just by pure accident. Because I came across her art on Twitter. I think. Was it that? Or did I come across her, her Twitch? But, but, but my network... <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but networking is not my strong suit. <laughs> Every raid is networking. If that's the case, then I'm also really bad at that. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're having fun at Derby and at and at Salty's place, Midas. That's really cool. I'm happy about that. <laughs> then raid this stream. That reminds me. That reminds me. I need to add that as a uh, a point reward. I thought that would be a good idea. You know, like, choose who to raid this stream. Raid yourself, become good at networking genius. <laughs> uh-huh. I... <laughs> oh, could be a good idea, yeah, yeah. Our expenses 
how expensive would a raid redeem be though see that is the tricky part because i don't want it to be overly expensive but i don't want it to be like easily accessible for anyone either you know because then some random could just come in like hey oh boy i don't know who you are we used to bring all your people over to this one guy i know who's like streaming once <laughs> Go for 5k. Mm. Isn't that too much though? 5k for a raid? Three or four? Mm. That is better. I think 5k would be a bit too much. You can raid only once per stream. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but if, remember, I don't want to gatekeep the function, you know? I want it to be like a redeem, yes. So people have to watch for a while to be able to like redeem it. Not less than 1k. No, not less than 1k. I will not, I will, I will, I will say that that's a bad idea. Uh, hey there, Antrax, how are you doing? 2,500? Mm, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's a nice number. It's charismatic! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Hello there, charismatic. Welcome, welcome. 3k, same as making you speak. <laughs> right. The thing that most people tend to redeem to make me say really weird stuff. Uh huh. I'm sorry, I've been a bit scarred. I've been a bit scarred by, uh, by what cool dude made me say. I've been a bit scarred by that. That that was like, oh God. Like saying that in my native language, I felt gross saying it. <laughs> to be fair, I feel like I'm the only one using that. That's fair. The mother milkers thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Mm wasn't a fan of that no you have the right to refuse do i if i just refuse everything then what's the point of the redeem huh <laughs> why does everyone never make a say loving wholesome things in his glorious mother language because it's twitch <laughs> You refuse dare sometimes, too. Well, yes, but that's part of the meme. <laughs> Why will you do it for the cheaper shine? <laughs> I may end up lurking since I'm working on something. So, yeah, I'm going to be the big quiet. Sure thing, Supreme. That's completely okay. Uh... Start refusing Danish requests you want to refuse. <laughs> hey, chat, it's been a long day, so we're going to hang out and chill today. Sound good? Uh, okay. You want to know what the hardest part about this redeem is, people? It's like doing the rough translation like... On the spot that's the hardest part it's not hard for me to like speak in my native language like duh <laughs> but like the rough translation on the spot that's the hardest part about this uh okay hey chat till unlock day let's pass to the sloppy day yeah look on yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the closest thing I can do for that. What did he say? <laughs> what did what did this motherfucker just say? Did he just say something about my mom? <laughs> no, no. I, I I just said what he what he told me to. <laughs> Your mother is a lovely woman. Don't don't don't, don't miscue this. <laughs> Uh, you're like Ocelot in Metal Gear Solid 5 when he refuses to translate Russian soldiers. He's like, yeah, I speak Russian, but I won't translate for it. 
Oh boy. Does he do that? I forgot if he does that. I know he speaks Russian. But does he not translate it? All oh, right, no, he doesn't. That's right. Like you have to find a Russian translator specifically. <laughs> that's that's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, fair. If he was the dedicated, you know, Russian translator, he wouldn't have time for all the other shit he does in the games. And you know what? I, I can kind of see Ocelot's point of view there. I can kind of see his point of view on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking in community memes and... <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That is something I need to set up here. I need to set up something so that I can show images on this screen so I don't have to switch back all the time. That's something I need to do. Uh Can you right now? Does the screen fudge up if you try? See, here's the thing, Midas. Considering how, like, delicate everything I've set up is, I don't want to touch anything while I'm live because I'm scared shit's just going to break on me. <laughs> ah, it's like a card house. Yeah. Yeah, essentially, yeah. One more day. One more day for what, buddy? Is something specifically happening tomorrow? It's Thursday. Tomorrow. He wasn't thinking. <laughs> oh, good lord. Do you have a long weekend, Halo? Ooh. Oh my god! Astro with the raid! Hello, raiders! How y'all doing? The man of the hour? I do believe that Astro uh, goes by she or her. I could be wrong, however. Sup, my hoe? Oh my fing god! How dare you call. No, it's fine. <laughs> Hello, the screen. <laughs> oh, boy. Why is it that the moment I start thinking, wait, is Astor a dude? Then you're like, you meet us now. <laughs> Here's your drink. Thanks. But meet us. I don't want the Golden King to make a fool of himself. We need to uphold his, you know... Your, your glory is shining the self of you, you know? Like, we need you to be the beacon of this community. Because you are. I'll just go over here. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Midas was a legendary fool. You know what? That... <laughs> that... that, that. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that one. <laughs> oh, boy. What a day, man. What a day. You, you know, you want to know? I'm fumbling over my words here. Chat, you want to know something? Ever since uh, this whole VTubing thing have started, I legitimately feel very limited. And that mostly boils down to, um, you know, my setup not being good enough for all the stuff we used to do. Woo, I'm not late. Nah, you're not late. Suguchi, you're not late. You're just on time. You're just in time to chill and have a nice time. Because that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> nice. I swear to God, I made that alert. And it scares the shit out of me every time. <laughs> it scares me every time. I keep on thinking like, 
It's it's Halo's fault, okay? It's Halo's fault. He keeps on throwing shit at me, and I have to prepare, like, to make sure it doesn't hurt as much. And whenever I hear that freaking slap sound, I think it's Halo throwing shit at me. All right? <laughs> but thank you for the follow. <laughs> so, Gucci, I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Ow! Like that. Why am I the bad guy? Because you keep throwing shit at me. And you knowingly do it. <laughs> oh. God. Do lots of stuff, even when VTubing. Boom. <laughs> See, that's, that's easier said than done, buddy. <laughs> I just really want to get a uh, two PC setup as soon as possible. Once that's a thing, we can go back to doing literally whatever. <laughs> You've decided on a PC yet? Uh, yeah, I think so. Not all of it is just the paid thing. <laughs> and that's a lot! <laughs> um, but yeah, I do believe I've, I've chosen one. So we can have a donation go- no. 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 No donation goal. No. That, that, no. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Have a good day, turtle. <laughs> Thank you for being here, buddy. He's probably going for those cool ones. The perfectionist. Hey, how much is the PC you're gonna get? Just asking, no real reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it, it's a black PC. Yeah, the the the, the color of the PC is black. Long as it isn't the goddamn laptop, I'm sorry to say, Midas, but it is. <laughs> not what color? How much is it? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> but why? Because Midas, uh, setting up a uh, another desktop is a lot more expensive. It takes up a lot more room, and I don't know how to build a PC from scratch. Halo, I swear to God. I swear to God, Halo. I mean it. Don't you do it. I mean it. I swear to God. Swear to the Lord. Tell us response. Okay. <clears throat> oh. My Lord. Wait, no. <clears throat> My Lord. He tells you to not do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? 
What is that? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Ow! Here's your drink. Thank you. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Again, I'm looking at looking at the, the community memes. The, <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry to say this. I might sound racist for saying this. I don't know. But when those shades are on and that hair is put on him, he looks Asian for some weird reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but he does. <laughs> it's the anime here you know what you might be right <laughs> i don't know it's just i think it this shades is what really does it like when you can't see his eyes you're just like huh Ow! i'm stuck Ow. Yeah, I'm stuck like this. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just be leaning here now. <laughs> uh, this is what I mean. Hold on. You, you can look at the robot. Yeah, look at the robot. She's got the curve, she's got the asses, and she's got the personality to boot. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you are. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. All right. Enough, enough looking, enough looking. I'm back. I don't know what happened that that among us that that just that, that apparently just killed me. Oh God. Oh yeah. I want to quickly take a moment chat just to say, um, despite the fact that I don't provide a lot of, um, diversity in the content I bring to the table. I will quickly say thank you to all the people who uh, are there to help me out with it. Um, like not too long ago, like for like there are people around me that I, I don't talk to as much. Even they're like, hey, dude, here's some ideas. Like, like my, my destiny clan, right? The goblin squadron, as they're called. Like, I was in a call with them not too long ago, which I don't do often. They, they, we just had a nice uh, chill chat and they were like, hey, dude, you should just stream this. Like, just, just let's do the raid, your first time doing the new raid, and then you can have a good time and we can do all the content for you. <laughs> like, well, you are funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm grateful for that. I mean, for Christ's sake, even my mother, I don't, I don't, <laughs> my mother, my mother was like, sweetie, like, if you really need something, if you need some extra new content, like, you can just bring me on board and you, you can, we can play something scary and I'll scream and it'll be funny for them, right? I'm like, um, no, <laughs> like, I love you and, and I'm happy you want to help. And may, maybe in the far, far future, but <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Interview with mom? <laughs> nah. 
Damn, Mama Combo is hip on Twitch. <laughs> Bring the mother to stream. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Does your mother, does your mom also need a VTuber model? Just asking no reason. Uh, no. <laughs> Give her shades too. You know she wears them. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Maybe, maybe in the future. Who knows? It, it's not really the main focus right now. One day. Yeah, one day. Uh, but yeah. Um, and then, of course, there's Asto, who uh, contacted me about, you know, doing the interview, which technically, I guess, is a collab. So I am doing more of the stuff I wanted to do that I said on my interview. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Asto the Blasto, hey ho. Oh my god. <laughs> Miji has added something to her to-do list. Yeah, well that to-do list is really, really long. Mom still. Shut <laughs> Oh, good lord. I'm not that busy. Oh, really? Stop! <laughs> well, what do you know? Now the uh, <laughs> now the <laughs> the Twitch integrated throwing system is broken as well. You know, tits. He's just sticking there like a good boy. <laughs> oh, yes, you'd hit me this. Ah! Never mind, it works. Thanks. <laughs> Language. Uh, happy to help. Thanks. I swear. But yeah, like I, 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 there are some stuff I want to do once to like I have a two PC set up. Because once that is done, I can just focus on having like the model and everything like in terms of like. You guys throwing shit, the scenes, everything work flawlessly on one PC. And then I can just focus on, you know, on gaming on the other one and just, just have a grand old time. <laughs> and then we can do a lot more as well. Like I could go back to Destiny and stream that. Or, you know, we could go play freaking Star Citizen. And get bored halfway through. <laughs> I'm stuck in analysis paralysis. Do I grind destiny or rank up in Pokemon? Entirely up to you, Halo. So how does a dual PC setup work? You stream on just one PC and play on the other or what? Technically, yes. You connect the two PCs together through a capture card, essentially. Um, so you capture everything uh, fr from uh, one PC's viewpoint into the other PC's software. It's extremely convoluted and uh, a bitch to set up, essentially. And I do not recommend it, if you can avoid it. I don't know anything about Destiny, so I'm a bit biased. That's completely fair, char charismatic. If you ask any Destiny player, they're all going to agree on telling you to n stay away. Don't play the game. It's horrible, and it keeps people trapped. <laughs> ask any Destiny player, and they'll tell you that you're better off not playing it. Because it grabs a hold of you, and it won't let go.
like this, then he's Star Wars Bungie Re. I mean, technically, yes. That's why I never try playing Destiny. Good man! <laughs> Good man! Like... I've been stuck in this hole for four years. <laughs> I think I'll take their advice. Yeah! Yeah. The only point where you should touch Destiny is if you have nothing else to do and you want a space shooter. That's it. Uh, I mean, like, I kid you not, people. The, 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 like, it is a legitimate MMO at this point because end game content now, right? It's just raids and fashion. That's it. That, that, that's what you do at the end of the game. Once you've beaten the campaign, once you've done all the DLCs, once you've, like, gotten tired of, you know, uh, PvP and stuff like that, all you do is just raid and fashion. That's it. Might as well go Final Fantasy XIV then. The cute anime fashion. Well, sure, if you want the cute anime fashion. Me, I just kind of want borderline Star Wars and or, you know... A halo. That's what I want. <laughs> Random monkey noises aside, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> I'm already trapped in my fighting game addiction. You know what? I never really got into fighting games, but I can see people getting addicted to it. Like, I love playing Tekken. I played Tekken 5 a lot when I was a kid. Like Tekken 5, I had a, a great fun with that. <sighs> Haven't fallen in yet, but soon! You would say that you may, you hunter me? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I am a hunter. <laughs> Fighter Z has a gorilla grip upon my ADH brain. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I want to get into Tekken, but I assume the next one isn't far off, so I'll just procrastinate until then. I don't actually know if they're still making Tekken games. I think they've kind of let the the uh, the series kind of go under. Because I think they kind of wrapped up the story beat they've been doing, like in the last game. New Street Fighter was announced? Yeah, I heard. Apparently there's an overworld now. Which is weird for a fighting game. Like, huh. But yeah, no, like... When it comes to, like, Destiny, I just like the fashion and, and the gunplay, really. As annoying as it is to say, like... <laughs> Destiny is probably the closest you're ever gonna get to, like... A first-person Star Wars RPG game. And no... I don't count the Old Republic, okay? <laughs> I don't count that. Might try SF? SF. Oh, Street Fighter, right. <clears throat> A first person Star Wars RPG would be the bomb. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but. I don't know what they would do with it, really, because, you know, Star Wars is you know, known for their whole lightsaber and Jedi stuff. 
it's only recently that people started focusing on, you know, the Western aspect again because of The Mandalorian. Which is a good show, I will say. I love the show and I love the characters. And I think The Mandalorian is a, you know, is a f***ing beast and he's, he's a great dad. But still, maybe just make it a solo game so you could just sneak or shoot and ask your hairy bro to pop off arms. <laughs> Boba Fett was terrible, sadly. I heard that it's a uh, it's a it's a cult classic. It's not the um, it's not the best game. Oh, you're referring to the series, the Book of Boba Fett? I love that series, though. Like the Book of Boba Fett, I like that series a lot. I thought it was great. There was the old video game called Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, where you played as Boba. Mandalorian game would work? Uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Bounty hunting, rooting, shooting, flying, helmet loose in time. <laughs> I think the series was good too from what I've seen. I've seen it from start to finish and I like Bo the Book of Boba Fett. I haven't seen Boba Fett because I had to binge the Star Wars movies first. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess we have different opinions on the show. I guess so, Toby. I don't understand why people don't like it, though. Like, it's not like they just changed Boba Fett completely. He's still Boba Fett. <laughs> the only difference is he just doesn't want to be a bounty hunter anymore. <laughs> Gotta rinse the work day off me. Later on, everybody, have a good one. A sure thing, Halo. Have a good day, buddy. Like, I have seen people who are like, oh no, the, the show is shit because Boba Fett is no longer cool. It's about the story writing. What was wrong with the story? I thought the story was great. It's literally about the, about the best bounty hunter in the entire galaxy. Stepping down, going like, dude, I don't want a bounty hunt anymore. I want my own thing. I want to be a crime lord. But I want to do it with respect instead of just making people fear me. That's cool. How is that bad writing? I don't get it. He gets his own Wookiee. <laughs> and two Pikmin. They, they, you know. Sounds cool as fit. Yeah, I know. It was a great series. It was kind of weird, though, how, like, halfway through, they just kind of turned it into The Mandalorian Season 2.5. That, I thought, was kind of weird. Like, it's supposed to be about Boba Fett, but suddenly it's The Mandalorian again. I'm like, it's cool to see him. Like, it's great to see him and see the story continue. But it should have been, like, its own thing. <laughs> it should have been season three. Badass dude gets gentler in his older age thing. Yeah. It was like a full episode where Bobo uh, wasn't in it. I think there was two whole episodes where he wasn't in it. If I remember correctly. He's like not even 50. Well, me does do remember he's been in near death situations more times than once. Plus, he crawled himself out of a sarlacc pit. For those of you who don't know, a sarlacc pit is a giant beast in like a sand dune that like uh, eats you alive and then digests you for a hundred years. Gnarly stuff. He crawled out of it. Dude's badass. <laughs> oh. God. Stir were. There's that stir thing. 
But it's fair if you don't like the show. Like, I'm not saying that your opinion is wrong. I think it's stupid people who say that, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Samora Morrison is a badass son of a gun. Yeah. Yeah, he's neat. One thing I didn't actually understand was the stuck in the Sarlacc for all those years since he fell in and just got out. Or did he stay with the Tuscans for those years between episode 6 and the Mandalorian? Um, I think it's a bit of both, Midas. I think it just stayed with the uh, the Tuscan Raiders for a really long time. I'm just here being excited for the next Marvel movie because I still don't understand half of what the hell happened in the 7th and 8th and ninth movies. Charismatic? Um, when it comes to the 7th, 8th, and ninth Star Wars movies... I think you should more treat those as professionally made fan fictions. Because it undermines a lot of stuff that happens in the previous, like, content. The forbidden numbers. <laughs> Official fan fiction? You know what? Sure. The numbers makes it. <laughs> Reading the Thrawn trilogy is so much better. I like Thrawn. Uh, I think he was done correctly in the animated series. Um, but as for, like, making him a primary movie villain, I don't think he would have worked. I legitimately do not think he would have worked. Please elaborate. I'm actually begging you. <laughs> well, in the newest Star Wars trilogy... There was a lot of stuff um, that the writers just kind of didn't bother with. And apparently there was infighting between directors from movie to movie. Which is why there's a lot of questionable things happening. But yeah. Like, see, the thing is, people always say that the, like, episode uh, four, five, and six uh, are the best ones, aka the original trilogy. I grew up with the prequels, and I will stand on this hill and yell to the sky that episodes three, it's still the best Star Wars movie of all time. And you can throw shit at me all you want. I do not care. I loved episode three more than any other movie in the Star Wars uh, universe. It is so good. <laughs> like it, it has it has quirks. It has like it has humor. It has all the good memes. And the ending is just so fucking sad. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm going to agree on when it comes to bad things about the prequels, it's episode one. Episode one is just kind of boring. And that's not because of the acting. That's because of the plot. The plot is just boring. Like it really is. Like it is. I think the third one is the best and the second one is the worst from the original six the movies. Um, I disagree. I think the worst Star Wars movie of the original six, I would say episode one is the worst because of how boring the plot is. The characters are cool, the fights are amazing, but the plot is just... This is boring. It's about a freaking blockade. 
Like, why would I be invested in that? Oh, there's a blockade <gasps> in space. <laughs> Doing good. But yeah, uh, episode two, it has some bad dialogue. True. But it's also the origins and it kind of shows like what leads up to episode three. They needed to set the stage for the transformation of the Republic into the Empire with episode one. And it wasn't executed very well. And, uh, yeah, I guess... I have a distinct memory of falling asleep in my chair when my family was watching Star Wars. I can't tell you which one it was, but it was uh, the one with the angsty male teen young adult. <laughs> that sounds like the second one. But like, the second one I actually don't think is bad. Because it legitimately shows Anakin like delving into some dark shit he literally went and slaughtered tuscan raiders not just the men but the women and children too <laughs> as he said himself so no episode three wasn't the first time he killed children he's already got that one covered previously <laughs> bro had practice <laughs> Anakin was supposed to be annoying because he wasn't Jedi fanatic material like the rest of them. Yeah, plus he was a slave. <laughs> he came from slavery. That doesn't really, you know, give him etiquette. <laughs> he was good at what he did, but he had attitude. And that's an attitude he grew from, you know, being pushed around all the time. Hit him with the child splitter 3000. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Not just the men, <laughs> but the women and children too. <laughs> oh god. Like, the thing that the second movie, like, had trouble with was, was the dialogue. Like, it's true. The overall plot and the character motivations were really good. It was just the dialogue. Really, that was it. Third movie, oh, masterpiece. Love it, love it, absolutely love it. Uh, the original uh, three movies, great, great, great series. Like, seriously, the episode four, you know, A New Hope. It's, you know, it's the classic coming-of-age story with Luke. Plus, it did something new for the time. It did women empowerment correctly. We got introduced to Princess Leia. The, the damsel not so much in distress, <laughs> as some people called her. Lady was so bad, she was like, bro, you came to save me? You can't even get your own ass out of a, <laughs> a trash compactor. <laughs> It was a great, great, great series. Great movie series. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh, there we go. I like to imagine Palpatine was sitting in the corner during the Anakin and Younglings moment like, holy fuck, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> it would have been even more funny if he was like <laughs> if you if like Anakin came back and he was like ah yes my apprentice did you take care of all the Jedi and he's like yes master I even killed the kid you did what <laughs> we could have used them <laughs> Oh, uh, swear to God. <laughs> they were 
Prime Inquisitor Boys Material Lord Vader. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh, by the way. Uh, ow! What's... Uh, I keep forgetting the actor's name. Um, hold on. Ember Palpatine... Ian McDarmid. Ian, yeah. So Ian did a um he did like an interview with like fans not too long ago where he went over um like how the shootings were and, and stuff like that. <laughs> and <laughs> like there was a time where he was like explaining how um him and George Lucas were talking about doing a scene and when he was like and he told us to just do it and then he trailed back realized what he said and then he immediately went do it <laughs> it was like uh, that man is a treasure <laughs> he is a treasure I love that man so much <laughs> do it <laughs> Oh my god. Anakin, dude, my buddy, my hombre, my brother in Christ. I get it. Counterpoint. They were kids. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I feel like it's worth mentioning that when I finally responded to my best friend's hello there with General Kenobi, he almost hugged me out of excitement because I finally understood. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Good. Good. Do the see. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> Hey everyone, finally here. Not at the end of the stream. Hey, hey there, Alarasa. How you doing? <laughs> Listen, we are evil, but we're not monsters, Anakin. <laughs> uh, that's debatable. <laughs> Kids can be evil and monsters. It depends how they're raised. It really depends how they're raised. I don't really have a whole lot like for us to do other than just chill and chat today because considering how unstable shit is right now as I have frozen twice now <laughs> I don't think playing a game is a good idea <laughs> Ooh, Ross, I'm sorry. So no cack and jack and jackster today. Uh No, not today. Not today. We might do it on Friday though. When then we can also go, you know, a little extra long. Ugh. You want to know something that's that's funny, chat? I separated like the vods I post on YouTube to a different channel, right? Like I made a completely different YouTube channel just for the vods. I archived all my previous content on my main channel, put it all into a playlist so that it was only available there. And I have not uploaded anything since. <laughs> like, it is so empty right now. I have not made anything myself currently. Necro, with like, 
his amazing fan channel has uploaded more new stuff than I have. <laughs> Being here makes me realize how much I missed coming to these streams back when I wasn't busy. Aww. Thank you, Charism Charismatic. I appreciate that. I need as many viewers as possible. I'm losing too many. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. And I will steal all your audience on YouTube. You know what, Necro? If you get a lot more viewers than me, I'm all for it. <laughs> it's free advertisement for me to be on. <laughs> oh, boy. I think it's also like. I think it also boils down to the fact that, like, the few ideas that I have aren't really tied to, um, you know, me. <laughs> the few creative ideas I have is not tied to, um, well, to the whole brand we got going. That just kind of makes me go like, ah, I guess I'm not going to do it then. I shall assist you with that necro. Oh my god. There's two people in my chat who's gonna take over all of the audience that I have. <laughs> I think that's totally okay if your ideas are not tied to you. Oh? Imagine the confusion on people if they like go in and watch like a video of me doing a documentary on something, right? And then they like see at the end of the of the video, like, oh he streams? Oh cool. Let's go see, like, maybe he does, like, research while he's live. Like, why? This is a VTuber. What the f*** am I looking at? <laughs> uh... You know? Oh, I see. Yeah. It's made me realize that, like, VTubing is very, uh... Why not VTube a documentarian or whatever? Because I have no interest in that. <laughs> and besides, like, there's way too many VTuber documentaries out there anyway. Here's a drink! Oh! Nitro. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Good evening, good evening to you too. Uh. Oh, wow. I don't know any VTubers that do uh, docos. No, like me, I think you're misunderstanding. <laughs> if the aspect of a VTuber isn't in like the content on a YouTube channel that then, you know, advertises for their own Twitch, People are gonna get whiplash <laughs> going from like, let's say, let's say I like explore, let's say I explore the whole, uh, you know, voice acting thing, right? I write a script, I do like an, an audio book kind of thing, right? Like original stuff uh, through audio alone. People enjoy it and they're like, ooh, he streams, cool, I'll go check it out. That's a VTuber, who this? <laughs> It doesn't really correlate. Yeah, no. So I gotta figure out what to do about that. Uh, there are ideas floating in my head, but making them a reality is, uh, Difficult. Have we heard this song before? I feel like this is like the third time I'm hearing it today. Plenty of times. <clears throat> then I don't know. It's on random. Like the, the playlist is on random. So I don't know. Hmm. 
I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I just realized. I didn't buy. F <laughs> I didn't buy groceries today. <laughs> It was my plan. I needed to buy groceries today. But then, you know, the whole delay happened. I was like, I need to stream. I'm already half an hour late. Oh. Not the groceries. Yeah, it means I don't have food. <laughs> I don't know how many times it's played. But the swing rhythm makes my brain go... <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that you enjoy the music. It's by Odd Chap. You can find him on YouTube and on Spotify. Is it too late to order? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> it is too late. Ah, uh, it's fine. I had a heavy lunch. I'll be just fine. There are a lot of mobs in this. There are. This is how Ace is so nice and thin. <laughs> Heavy lunches and no dinner. <laughs> Look at how slim boy. <laughs> uh, it's the wrong way of losing weight, though. Don't starve yourself. That's bad. Starving yourself is the wrong way of doing things. Anyway, I think I do that a lot, by the way. <laughs> I think a lot. I use my brain. <laughs> Not all the time. Sometimes I forget to use it. But that's normal. <laughs> uh. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. How can I learn this power? <laughs> to think it's very difficult, Nitro. I don't think I can teach you it. Besides, head empty, a lot more nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, chat. If like, if my PC could handle it, I would just play Destiny right now. I've gotten hooked on it. I've gotten so hooked on it that I'm even listening to lore stuff now. I kid you not. Like today at work, <laughs> I was just going around listening to like lore tabs. <laughs> oh no, not you too. Yeah, no, me too. <laughs> He's fallen victim. Yes. I have caught it. I've caught the destiny disease. I, I apologize. Listening while working, impressive. <laughs> No, you <laughs> How is that? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> God. Oh boy. How do you even remember anything when you work? You strong. Uh well. Most of my work doesn't take a lot of brain power. It's just about, you know, lifting shit. <laughs> so it's fine. I can, just, I can just go about my business and listen to, uh, to fictional lore. <laughs> oh, 
up, boy. Like, the, no joke. Ace is a strong boy. He can lift. <laughs> but like, no joke. Like, Destiny lore is actually interesting. There was legitimately a time that we sadly don't get to experience in the video game, Bungie. Um, where it was basically a Western. Like, people would go around from, like, small towns to towns. And just, you know, there was not really a law enforcement. And some of the Guardians were warlords. How cool is that? And they didn't make a game about it! Ugh. Surprisingly, there's a lot of stuff about immortality in, uh, in Destiny lore. I'm actually surprised about that. Like, there's a lot about stuff like questioning, like, is it really worth it to be immortal? Is it worth it to never grow old and never die? <laughs> I want to be a cowboy, babe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Being immortal sucks. Why is that a question? Some people don't think it is. Especially if there are other people who are immortal like you. I remember that one guy who experimented on his own immortality and his ghost recorded all his attempts of self on a life. <laughs> Oh, I, I haven't read that one yet. <laughs> well, I have the right gun to play as a cowboy. I have the right gun and the right outfit. You don't believe me? Let me show you. Hold on. Here. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> okay, chat if the if the stream dies, then I hope you had a great day. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh my god. Right. Did you try to start Destiny? No, I have an image. There we go. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. <laughs> Is that a cap helmet? Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> you were waiting to show us this, weren't you? You were waiting. <laughs> Do drip or drown of the clan. <laughs> I already have. Retro. Is that the current battle pass outfit or what? Uh, no. It is not. It's a mix match of a lot of stuff. Uh, it's the lucky pants for ultimate cowboyish. <laughs> uh, some set uh, arms with the cloak, and then just the chest piece and the helmet is just regular drops. Uh, and it's my gun. That's the gun I use. <laughs> Last words. Of course! <laughs> yeah. I like this gun. It's fun to shoot. It's really fun to shoot. Swish, swish. Swish, swish. Works decently in PvP too. Sure. I don't play PvP. <laughs> I can't bother with PvP. I'm gonna be honest. 
PvP, like, even in casual games, it's too sweaty. People take it too seriously. They do. They take it too seriously. Maybe Ace of Spades. <laughs> uh, I have Ace of Spades. It's just... It's not that fun to shoot for me, really. Okay, next stream, Destiny, okay? Okay, I can't meet us. My setup is not good enough. It's too short. <laughs> but try it. It's going to crash. I'm sorry to say this. Either it's going to crash, or I'm going to have like 15 frames per second. No. <laughs> I already got too much shit running in the background anyway. Do it. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I swear to God. Poor Axis PC ready to rest. <laughs> uh, trust me, if I could, I would. If I could, I would. But I can't. So I got a deal until I get, you know, a dual PC setup. Once that is in place, I can do whatever I want and whatever you guys want. Until then, we, we just got to stick to retro games, which is fine. Like retro games are fine, too. It doesn't, you know, make it easy for me to, you know, grow. But that's what that's why I have to go into YouTube. <laughs> I have to, you know, increase the visibility of this channel any means that I can. Apparently, which is what I find really interesting, uh, the, e the not the easiest, the best way to like put yourself in the spotlight to be found is apparently Reddit. Apparently it's Reddit. That's where like people get their like 15 minutes of like fame or something like that which is interesting reddit yeah reddit <laughs> i am in <laughs> no like usually um people just post either clips or something like that of people in um in reddit and that's how people are found I hear it's TikTok, maybe. I'm not gonna get a TikTok though. <laughs> I am not bothering with TikTok. I don't like, I'm gonna be honest, chat. When it comes to like social media, the less I have to deal with it, the better. Like I hate dealing with Twitter to begin with. Like I can't even deal with Twitter. Twitter is a challenge for me. So anything else I won't be able to do at all. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Reddit over Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Can't even tweet Lamau. Yeah. Tweeting is not my strong suit. It isn't. Oh, well. Reddit is the best. And, uh, well, if you're an average Redditor, then I can understand your mindset. And I hope you always have fun on the platform. I haven't opened Twitter in months at this point. Good! It's a cesspool. <laughs> like, Reddit lets you focus on specific topics you want to know about. Fair. Fair. We still have that, like, that Reddit uh, group specifically about me, which I was legitimately surprised people actually posted on it a few months ago. I was legitimately surprised over that. Reddit and Twitter are both shit. Any social media is, Toby. Even Twitch. 
even YouTube, any social media is shite. <sighs> but browsing Reddit, it's kind of like knowing there's a really stinky, creepy neighbor next door. And anytime you could run into them in the elevator. <laughs> That's very specific, Midgey. <laughs> that is very specific. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Listen, I'm listening. I go on there for cute shite. <laughs> but sometimes I have regrets. You know what? Fair. <laughs> All right. Anyway, chat. I apologize. It's going to be a short stream. I didn't plan to be like half an hour late. But um, considering how my PC is having hiccups right now. I don't want to test my luck. I have to uh, work tomorrow, so I have to go to bed now. Sadly, see you guys. Sure thing, Nitro. We're ending anyway. I want to quickly say thank you to everyone who's been here today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're lovely. I love you all. I got to figure out what the fuck to post on YouTube. <laughs> Fix hiccups for the next time, please, yes. I'm gonna try. That's the plan at the very least. But anyway, thank you for being here, people. You cuties. Look at you guys. Look how cute you guys are. <laughs> time for a boppy exit. You know it. So thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you guys on Friday. All right, now next is entertainment. We want to show Steve a good time, but, well, we don't know too much about what he likes. The best thing I know for breaking the ice and getting people acquainted is some good looks.